tweet, please use hashtag one tool. Um, could be referring to me, could be referring to our tool that we see on our journey as we delve in. So, it works. Here we go. I'm Ashley Johnson, Digital Project Manager at Access Advertising. There's my Twitter handle. If you want to follow me, there's my website. If you want to see what sort of stuff you get up to, and I'll switch for off this site address on the um, I started Access about two years ago. Started off as a designer, and decided that actually I don't like being a designer. So I thought I'd try my hand to be a developer, and that didn't work out very well either. So I became an account manager. Turns out I didn't like that much either. So with all of that kind of experience combined, I thought I'd be a project manager. And lo and behold, I am where I am today. As I said, there's our office with our 26th member of staff in the corner and the head in the background. Uh, so, got a process. Everyone loves a good process, especially me. So this is what we go through when we are kind of looking at projects and Tendron. So for a kickoff, because obviously you go to a meeting, shake hands, you're all very nice, you agree on loads of stuff, and then you go into planning and you take all that good stuff and say actually you've got budget on the site you can do this much. Uh, <clears throat> and then from planning, you're doing your site map, spec doc, all that kind of good stuff signed off. Then you move into content, so that's more on the client for them to pull up their trousers and get it sorted, because usually that's the thing that holds up the whole project in the book, from my experience. Uh, and then we move into design, so you kind of do the wireframe in, <coughs> some mock content that you can have in there, uh, and the designers go away and have their design. And then we go into build, uh, which is obviously the most of you guys uh, And then we go into launch, so, there's a better breakdown of it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> top is agency, so we kind of apply this to ourselves or freelancer. And then bottom is kind of client responsibilities. So, as I say, kick off, start with requirements, do your research, get a site map, make sure that the kind of user journey is good, uh, put that into the wireframe stage. Uh, as I said before, content comes in. Uh, and then it goes into design, and the kind of the size of the, the size of the balls represents the size of that. But um, so design and coding is obviously two of the main aspects. Uh, <coughs> deep page design, move it into coding. Clients kind of happy, keep them updated. Every Friday, bit of a cheeky PowerPoint. This is what's happening this week. This is what we're doing next week. Um, and obviously their responsibilities. They are responsible. Uh, go into content population, go into your testing. Uh, I realise I've not labelled the little boy ball, so we'll assume that's some kind of weird grey area. Uh, then you go into refinement and you go live and the client is happy. So along that whole journey, uh, there's multiple kind of, oh, what do touch points? We'll use the word touch points. Um, and tools that you need to kind of make sure everything runs smoothly. So, first of all, we use <coughs> uh, Jira. Anyone use Jira? Yay. So, semi preach into the converted. Find it good? Bad? It's good for all these horrible and good times. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good old time machines. Uh, yeah, so we use Jira, so obviously we've got sites and projects that we're doing, uh, new projects, and then we've got maintenance contracts as well. And Jira's quite good at pulling all of that together and actually making sense for everything. So previously we were using Task Manager. Did you use that? I really don't really know. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's why we just like the office there was quite a no. <laughs> <laughs> Now I feel worse. <laughs> okay. So we've got some it's a bomb tra it's a bomb tracker <laughs> for a one-man band outfit. <laughs> yeah, so when I started there was three devs, now we're up to seven, eight, or some more project managers. So we're using Task Manager, and I didn't particularly like it, so that gets a big... So we moved to Jira, and Jira's good. Um, we 
that's way to fruition. So we give our clients access to it, which is nice for them because they feel partly responsible. Um, and they can log issues or tickets, uh, mostly for maintenance contracts and also for projects. So if they're going through and like content, they can go on there and say, oh, came across this, there's no padding on the heavy two that I've just put. So we get emails triggered and everyone's happy. Going on. So, got two kind of different project workflows, backlog, selected for development, what's in progress, what we're reviewing or testing or I'm testing, uh, what the client is reviewing or testing, and then they ultimately have sign off and put it in done. So, they sign off, they send you back, unless they have an issue. And then, maintenance workflow. Similar, but we have a scoping column, so we tell them, okay, that issue's going to take one hour, two hours, ten minutes, four minutes, whatever it might be. Um, they sign off, and then go through the uh, work point. Uh, so the swim lanes as well, so we've just done some payments integration, which was fun. <laughs> uh, did you say someone had made payments for them? Yeah, yes, that. But we use the payments one of the tools. Um, so yeah, we split it up into swim lanes, so what the client's accountable for, um, PayPal, will pay, or to free sign up for us. So we can have a breakdown and make have a better understanding of what's where within the whole kind of timeline. Uh, <coughs> I was having a conversation yesterday, it was kind of in the back there, so, um, about stuff going through to a developer and it's not necessarily been Vetted. It's coming on an email and oh, it's broke, panic. Um, so what I like to do is vet them before they go to a developer. So kind of in general, what is your browser? What is your problem? What do you expect it to do? And what is it doing or not doing? Um, and that makes sense because there's no time wasted going back to the person to ask questions, then get back to the client, and then it's the kind of weird certain do that happens. So we'll get that. And there's a thing from Silicon Valley on the website. Um, so yeah, we don't have any physical Kanban boards, so we like Kanban actually works well as well. Um, because there's so many different things going on at the same time and the wall will become encumbered with post-it notes. Yes. Uh, so how much is it? There's a free seven day trial. We have up to 50 users for $200. Uh, and there's a little link. Which one take a picture? So, uh, another thing is scheduling, which is a chutney nightmare. Well, it was a nightmare. It's a slightly easy point. So, we were using the dreaded Excel sheet. Well, in this case, it's Google, Google Drive. Um, and we were manually putting it in like I said before, timesheets and kind of if you've got job numbers associated with different jobs, having to find that and match up against what you were working on. It's just horrible. So <coughs> that again gets a big strike through. So quite again, clear overview. Uh, you can assign tasks. So usually what happens is somebody come in on Jira, so the account management team or the client will post something. I get an email saying, this needs to be looked at. Uh, I can then Look at the schedule, look at the flow, and go, right, Paul or Rina are free for an hour tomorrow, so the schedule for review, and we'll take it from that. Uh, and they also get booked to death with daily emails about what they're doing, so it kind of limits the time in the morning, get in, make a coffee, do stuff and up, so that kind of squeezes down, so what it said is, there's only work questions about what's going to be which works. Uh, and you can split, drive, duplicate, and insert tasks with these. So that can work. Uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. You can assign different calls to your projects. Uh, we had Liam on his homeroom the other week, which was nice. And Paul was on holiday on Thursday. <laughs> so we can see what's going on. And usually, when we're kind of scoping a project out, we'll tentatively schedule in the time for the people who will be on that project team. So we can see far in advance if people are going to need full, full to the brim of work. 
pretty cool. How much? Uh, one project's free. Get unlimited projects for twenty-five dollars a month. And um, but yeah, since starting using it to get on sign up and designs, that process has become much quicker rather than yeah, is it? Yeah. Yeah, my MacBook Pro has a retina display that my work isn't so much as that. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. most of the clients are using Windows and Snake Explorer. So. <laughs> <laughs> so they're kind of the core tools, I suppose you call it, that we use. And I think we all get on pretty well with them. <laughs> yes, there we go. Uh, so, other handy tools, Google Drive, and then you drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, drive is just awesome. Make presentations, just like this one. Well, although, I did do some with Photoshop, and then it's a regret that we so do that. Uh, create documents and also spreadsheets. Real time collaboration. Um, so, when we're doing kind of tenders and pitches, we can all work on the same document at the same time, track changes. Yeah, and it doesn't lead to here's version one, here's version one point one, here's version one point two. It's yeah, yeah. Fan, final, 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 underscore final. Yeah, it just gets annoying. Uh, any device, anywhere, anytime. Uh, Android, Apple, Windows, phones, tablets, desktops, all of that good stuff. How much? Uh, you get up to 15 gig for free. You get 100 gig for one dollar ninety nine. Uh, and up to the terabyte for $9.99. Um, yeah, I suppose as a collaborative tool or doing documentation, having a good central place, like we've got a work server for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another good tool is join.me. So people do training for group of sites, I imagine. No, it's not good. So we'll say yes. Yes. Uh, so join is really good. Um, I know there's stuff like GoToMeeting and you, you, you. Uh, but join is actually free. Download it. So find it in your Mac or your Windows computer. And this is the bar that you get. Um, you can direct message, share your screen. So you get given the nine-digit kind of sharing code at the top. So you just point your client or your friend or your girlfriend or whatever it might be to joined on me, they put in that code, you can instantly share your screen. Um, and if you're having a bad head day, like I am today, you just call you only. Uh, how much? It's free. Uh, or there's a $25 package, which is a crazy video conference in lots of people. Well, yes, there's one. The free one does, does good justice. Um, so, why framing? More of a you like to see any thing, but a good thing to mention. Uh, we did use Illustrator. Illustrator, Omnigraphal, Balsamic, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So we've, we've, we've been through quite a bit. Does anyone else use Sketch? Just don't use it. So yeah, kind of put pen to paper. We designed Facebook. <laughs> 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 And then you can kind of get technical-ish. I think when you send in wireframes to clients, they get a bit over-encumbered by, oh, where's the color? <laughs> Why doesn't it look like a website? But what you're trying to do is obviously get the hierarchy and make sure that you make some work. So much you can explain that usually, quite important or, um, but yes. Free 30 day trial, uh, license, license is $99. Download it from the Mac App Store or go to Unicode it. And it's all on there. But yeah, I think we've got a couple of front end developers who also do wireframe as well. And one of them didn't particularly like it. The reason for the move uh, Jibber. Anyone use Jibber? So rather than going into TextMate and type in Lorem and then Tab, 
You can use this handy little tool that just gives you all the more of you ever wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. It's a lot of <laughs> But it's handy when you're uh, reviewing the site and you need to whack in two paragraphs for a page because the client will get get loads into it. That's super uh, That's free. Download from jibberapp.co. Typosaurus. Anyone used this before? It's uh, basically a spell checker for websites. So you can put up to 100 URLs in there and it go off and find spell mistakes on that website. So when you're going live, you always get a client going, oh, spelled wrong. How could you be such an idiot? And actually, no, I'm not an idiot. But they will bite you out of that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. It's not very good with names. It always thinks that names are spelled, so we'll get those errors. Um, but you have no problem with spelling errors. So, bumps up. Um, well, I'll take it from you. Just check your names. <laughs> uh, that's free. Just go to typesaw.us. Um, yeah. So, they're kind of good tools and stuff to have that you can delve into. Um, but then there's also the kind of announcement project manager. Um, so head. So kind of live and love the work. I find sadly what I do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not necessarily all techy and it's not necessarily all client based, but it's kind of we really enjoy it. Uh, like connecting the what with the why and kind of why you're doing this and what's the the business reason why do you actually need that? I don't know what I'm going to say, that's the questions. And kind of know who and know when, so if I come down to schedule it and understand your team and making sure that everyone's being used to their best of their abilities rather than kind of spunking time on the wall with someone who's in particular like front end, front end is the point. Uh, heart, I've empathy, it's like the situations understand where they're coming from, so someone's frustrated because they've got to get through and all someone's done is just put the with an email. I try to be mad, so you know, do a kind of retract and go back through the whole process. It will just be one person. Uh, intuition, just making sure that you're kind of one step ahead of the game. Um, an instinct, I don't know what instinct is that. Just be instinctive. <laughs> we'll, we'll, go, we'll go with that. Uh, and then have balls, take risks. I, I did Google massive balls and it was terrifying. <laughs> so, and I was sat in there. <laughs> I was like, Ooh, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so take risks. Obviously, make sure that uh, well, the risk is risks, but put yourself out there. Uh, make mistakes. I think I have done some very silly things in the past, but I think that's maybe better person and also that kind of ties in with fail faster so if you're going to do it make it swift learn from your mistakes and move on and at the end of the day don't be a tool it's always a good mantra to have oh we're at the end <laughs> <laughs> I edited this last night after coming into web uh, coming back from web screens so I was <laughs> <laughs> so I was kind of, <laughs> I've deleted some slides and I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> so yeah, questions? <laughs> Can't project mind you don't talk. You really get content Not all content. I think making the client aware that they actually do have to write stuff. It's different if you're doing a migration and it depends what you're migrating. But yeah, we like to have a bit of content up front to see. Sometimes it's absolutely And yeah, that's always good to know the start. So you can sort of look at the hierarchy. You want to go with it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know what you can find for. Yeah. Get a better understanding of it. Yeah, yeah. the content is helpful. Or perhaps you can't stop in the dark. Like I said, it, sometimes I'm literally just getting their clients to, uh, to 
sit and make you know, maybe an example of a news article, or maybe an example of a case study, just one or two little pieces that will really help you understand where their pitch and their content and how long is it and how graphical is it. Yeah, because they always admit stuff like, oh yeah, we'll do case studies. And I'm like, oh. I'm not of my opinions, that's yes, oh, so I not that smells like a chain of post. But anyway, uh, any other questions? Okay, that was easy. Yeah. And we nearly got back on time. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, here's Jet doing the backflip. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> I had to make that yet. <laughs> I was that intent on it happening. Um, there's the links to all the stuff. If anyone wants to take a photo. <coughs> Instagram name. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Why Instagram name? Um, there's my Twitter handle. And we're also hiring. Yeah. So come and talk to us. Yeah, and there's that. Okay. Cool. Is it lunchtime? <laughs> <laughs>